Hi, my name is Matthew, and today I'm here to try an experiment to see if our pharmacy can be better prepared for the COVID-19 pandemic. So the question I'm trying to answer today is, is our pharmacy ready for the COVID-19 pandemic? We have many technicians that are either diabetic, have cardiac problems, are immunocompromised, or have lung issues such as COPD, which are known risk factors for COVID-19. I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect our personnel and to reduce the risk of transmission. I spoke with the pharmacists who believe that with certain protective measures, such as gloves in a quarantine zone, we should be able to change medication in a dispo without spreading the germs in the pharmacy. I purchased glow-in-the-dark powder to attempt to replicate the spread of the virus. The COVID virus is spread by contact or droplets on different surfaces. Today I have a new prescription for a change in medications. I have a vial of medications I want renewed and I'm bringing in my dispil for the medication change. Uh, a medication will be removed and a medication will be added. In my test, I have COVID, which will be represented by the glowing powder. I will be bringing the virus infected prescription and the virus infected dispil back to the pharmacy so that the technicians and pharmacists can make the changes to my medication. A study showed that COVID-19 virus is no longer viable on cardboard surfaces after 48 hours. COVID-19, also known as SARS-CoV-2, was more stable on plastic and stainless steel and viable virus was detected up to 72 hours after application to plastic and stainless steel. Therefore, the virus could still be on the plastic dispil for 72 hours after contact. So to do my test first, I checked all the surfaces to make sure that nothing glows under UV light. I then checked to see that nothing on the technician's hands glowed under UV light. So the powder glows under UV light, but is not visible in normal lighting. Then I applied the phospholuminescent powder on my hands and touched the fake prescription and fake dispil and the bag. So the prescription and the dispil get handed to the technician. The technician doesn't take the vial, however writes down the medication name for renewal and tells the patient to keep the vial. They get brought over to the proper workstation and the dispo gets placed in the potentially COVID infected quarantine zone. The information is input into the pharmacy software. The technician then changes the medication in the dispo. The pharmacist verifies the contents of the dispil, prescription and analyzes the pharmacotherapy for any issues such as contraindications, interactions, side effects, verifies blood test values as needed. The pharmacist calls the patient to give him the necessary information regarding the medication. Once the analysis is complete, the dispo is placed in a bag marked with tape so to differentiate it so the pharmacist does not open the bag by accident without proper precautions. The bag is then given to the patient's family member who came to pick up the meds. I then waited 15 minutes and explained the experiment to the technicians. So here are the results. Even with our protective measures in place, the germ spread throughout the pharmacy. The germ has been spread to the person picking up the bag. We can see their hands. We can see the workplace. We can see the surfaces. The germ is even on the bottle and the medication itself. While not visible on camera, there is a lot of powder on the various surfaces. This experiment has shown me and my team that there are ways that we can improve. In the future, we will no longer be accepting dispos into the pharmacy. If there are dispo changes or modifications to patients' therapies, we will be making a new dispo from scratch and disposing of the previous dispo. Other measures we are taking include cleaning and disinfecting medications from distributors as suggested by the International Pharmaceutical Federation or placing deliveries in quarantine for 72 hours. And we have implemented delivery services to all patients in Mysticity to limit visits from the public and protect those most at risk. We have implemented cleaning logs at different workstations. I'd like to know that all prescriptions should be sent in by fax or taken as a verbal order by pharmacists. Frequent hand washing and well thought out procedures will undoubtedly slow the spread of COVID-19. We're confident that we are on the right path to keep the virus out of the pharmacy. Hopefully this info will be useful to anybody watching and will help you implement safety procedures in your workplace. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if you need help implementing any procedures.